Hey folks, John Peterson here, and today I want to do a little talk about gear. You know, I don't normally talk that much about gear because I like to talk about the art and the craft of photography, but sometimes gear does come up. And the reason it's coming up now is I am taking off tomorrow for a flight down to the desert southwest, and I'm going to be leading a photo workshop through Monument Valley and Canyon de Chez. And, you know, as I think about getting ready for a trip like this, one of the things that I am hoping to do while I'm down there is shoot some time lapse series uh, in the desert. And, you know, I shoot a few time lapses, but I don't shoot a ton. But on this trip, I really wanted to devote some time and effort in between working with clients to uh, set up and shoot a few time lapses. Now, you know, I'm, I'm flying on a commercial airline and as such baggage is always a concern in how much you're taking, how much you're packing. And so my thought was, is that I would bring a second tripod or second camera support system for shooting time lapses. I'm still going to bring my, my big tripod, but while I'm shooting still photographs, I also wanted to shoot some time lapse series. So I thought about what what can I bring that's small, that's light, that will do a decent job of camera support to shoot a time lapse sequence. And you know, I landed on. I don't normally do this. I I normally do a little bit of research and then I buy one product and that's it. But in this case, I came across a couple of products and I bought both of them. And I'm going to see which one I want to take down to the desert southwest. And regardless, I think I'll find a use for both of these anyway. So, you know, the first thing I got was this Oban CCT 1000. It's a tabletop tripod that is uh, made out of carbon fiber. Comes with a ball head. You know, and I've, I have purchased a few tabletop tripods before and all of them suck. And because uh, normally they're, they're really cheap and they don't support the camera and, you know, they're really geared more towards iPhones. But this is one that I saw that I thought, you know what, this could work for what I need. And it looks like it's strong enough to support my mirrorless DSLR or SLR or mirrorless camera. It's not even an SLR, so forget about that. Then the second thing I got, you know, a friend of mine has the Platypod uh, base, and he's talking a lot about it. So I started looking for Platypod bases and realized, you know, they're fairly expensive, but they're really well engineered and they're really well built. And, you know, Platypod makes great stuff. But what I found was this support base from a company called Magic Line. And I happened to find it on Amazon and it was about half off. And I'll show you both of those, but really this is a, a metal aluminum support base that has feet that sits on the ground. You can mount a camera to it and then that's your ground level tripod. So let's take a look at what comes in each of these boxes. All right, let's take a look inside the box here really well packaged it looks like is the appearance take off the cover comes with an instruction manual and this is what we see when we open the box we have a small tabletop tripod and it comes with a ball head comes with a screw clamp and it even comes with a mounting plate if you want to use the mounting plate just even unscrewing the screw knob itself, the clamp knob, very smooth action, very easy to use, which is fantastic. Small little mounting plate on the bottom, which I probably will not use. But this is what our little tripod looks like. I'll set that back here for now. Looks like it comes with a spare leg and or a center column. I think of this as a spare leg comes with an adjustment tool, several several hex keys that are inside of that, and it comes with a carrying bag. All of these products, at least on initial feel, feel very good, very high quality, fantastic stuff. 
Now, if we take a look at the tripod itself, of course, these are screw lock legs. The minimum height, the folded height of this tripod is about 10 inches. The tallest height is about 18 inches, I think. For what I wanted to do, I wanted a ground level tripod such as this. So here we are with our legs fully locked and just like a full size tripod, you can pull out these little stops and splay the legs out even further. And the thing I love about this compared to all the other tabletop tripods is that these positively lock in place and so the, the tripod is not going to creep and, and gradually get lower and lower and lower. If you really want, there's a bubble level, but I use the electronic level inside of our cameras. The ball head itself, it's a simple turn lock. And we can rotate it all the way around and the the locking mechanism is extremely strong they they say that this tripod will uh hold up to about 11 pounds no i'm sorry 1.1 kilograms yeah 11 pounds sorry um which is more than enough for my mirrorless camera and a wide angle lens which is what i'm going to be using to uh, shoot these time lapse photographs you can see everything is put together with a hex wrench, so it's very easy to take apart and service if we need to. Uh, these rubber tips are going to provide a lot of uh, support for you. I think you can maybe find some uh, spikes to go in the bottom, but I don't see a lot of need for that. I really don't, really don't use a lot of spikes unless I'm on a, a frozen lake um, or lagoon of some sort. But so far, the initial impression of this is absolutely fantastic. All right, let's take a look at the Magic Line. And they build this as a flat tripod base with a magic arm. And the thing that appealed to me about this is that it came with an arm that you could mount on top of the plate. A lot of the other plates that you see out there, you mount the camera directly to the plate. And you have to do a lot of screwing and unscrewing of the legs to get it level. This gives me the adjustability that I want all on the plate. It raises the center of gravity just a little bit, but it is absolutely fantastic, I hope. So when we open up the box, of course, we get an instruction manual. It looks like they give you some extra screws and some really long legs, which is great. They give you a strap, so if you want to strap the plate to a railing or a tree, you can do that. And it also comes with a carabiner if you want to hang it from your backpack. First big piece is the Magic Line arm. So this is a fully adjustable arm, and both of these ends articulate and rotate, so we can do whatever we want with it. Initial feel, you know, the, uh, the pieces that can be aluminum, like the uh, adjustment knob here and the screw knobs down here are aluminum. The rest is a what feels like a high strength metal because we're exhibiting some strong forces when we clamp this down. We don't want flex in the arm. So solid, solid metal construction here. And of course they give you a carry pouch, which is nice. And then here is the magic line base itself. And really what this is, it is a flat aluminum base and it's got four legs that are permanently attached. And what you can do is you can screw these additional legs in these additional holes that they provide for taller or wider support bases. But all you need to do to operate this is to push out the legs down below here. All the legs are uh, feel like aluminum and they do have screw adjustments and locking nuts so you can lock in the height that you want. But that's what it's looking like. Okay? That's the base in and of itself. And then you take the, uh, the magic arm and we'll screw this into the top of the base. If I can get this done quickly for you. And then we have a wonderful support base. Mount my camera right on top. I've put my camera on this already and found it very supportive. You know, and I think it's going to be even more supportive when I put longer legs on it to give a little bit wider platform and wider base. 
So initial impressions of this tool, fantastic. I think this would be a great ground level support for my camera. So here is what the magic base looks like with my camera attached. This is the Fujifilm X-T5 with the 16 to 55 lens on it. This is uh, predominantly what I would shoot a time-lapse sequence with. And so it holds it up just fine. You know, I can, I can move by loosening up the magic arm. I can move this around if I want. I can adjust it. I can get the right level that I want with my camera. And you know, in the wind, and I'm on a spongy pad here, so it's gonna move just a little bit. But if I put on the longer legs, I think it's going to give me a wider base of support and it's gonna be even more stable. So initially, I really like this product because it's small, it's lightweight, and it does what I need to do, which is provide an easy platform for me to level up and to be stable to shoot these time lapses. Okay, and here is what the Oben CCT1000 tripod looks like with the same camera and lens attached. You can see it also does the same thing. You know, it's a little bit tippier than uh, than the magic wand or the magic base that I had. And so for this, I'm a little bit more skeptical of this. And I think maybe part of it is if, if I just put the long end of the lens over one of the legs, it's going to be less tippy, which is great. It gives me a little bit more vertical height, you know, with the, with the ball head, I can rotate it this way. So if I wanted to shoot a panorama, I can do that real easy. And then with the adjustment knob over on the side, I can move the camera all the way around and level it up. Plus, you know, if I needed to get over a bush or any other kind of height, you know, I can raise the tripod legs up if I wanted to. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot of things I can do with this. It gives me a little bit more flexibility with this setup than with the base. All right, so I hope you like that little look at the Oben CCT 1000 and the Magic Base with Magic Wand. Both of these I found on Amazon, and both of them retail price are about $90. And you know, for this little mini tabletop tripod, it might seem a lot compared to the uh, cheap stuff that you see on there, but the build quality and features and functions are absolutely fantastic. Similarly, you know, 90 bucks may seem like a lot for a piece of aluminum and a magic arm, but the things that it gives you, the adjustability, the flexibility, you can mount this even on a tripod, you know, the carabiner you can hang from your backpack, the longer legs, the accessories they give you, I still think this is a fantastic value. I happened to find this on sale, and so that's part of the reason why I bought it, to give it a try, a little bit less... Uh, uh, price point entry to this particular thing. So the big question is, which one of these do I bring with me to the desert southwest? And as I record this video today, I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I'd love to take both, but I'm also being very conscious about how much gear and equipment that I bring with me. I'm going to probably bring the plate because I know how many tripods work. I've never used a plate before like this. And so I think I want to give this a try and see if I can make it work out in the field in real world conditions. It's lightweight, it's very compact, and it does what I need it to do to create these time-lapse sequences. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please subscribe, tickle the bell, do all that stuff that you need to do. Um, I love everybody that subscribes. I don't want you to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I will maybe give you an update on these things, how it performed out in the desert when I come back. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.